Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something I've never done. So as a blonde specialist, you've seen me go brighter, do a balayage on myself, baby lights, toners, all of it. But today I'm actually darkening my hair. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, but the reason why I want to share it with you guys is because not only do I wanna show you the formula and the exact steps I take to get there, but I also wanna explain like the importance of when you are blonde, and you're wanting to go darker, not only do you have to perfectly balance the color so that you don't end up with this flat, dull looking color, which can sometimes be the case when you are going from blonde to a more brunette shade. And the secret to that is to use a semi-permanent color. This way the color just fades so much more beautifully, easier on the hair, and you have more possibilities later, which I'm all about. So the color I've been craving is this sandy brunette, where it definitely has some like warm tones, but it's like perfectly balanced. I want something that's a little more toned down and a little more low maintenance. And I've mentioned this in the past on my channel, I love this kind of richness or more golden -y kind of brunette in the summer. I think that pairs so beautifully with a tan. Who knows, maybe in the winter I'll crave a blonde again, and if so, we'll go there again. Enough of the chatter, let's get into it. So I'm gonna break this up into two parts. I'm going to go in with a kind of a root shadow. My roots are covered, so I don't need a permanent color on my roots at all right now. But what I wanna do is create a little bit of a shadow. Basically, I wanna add in a little bit more warmth and kind of balanced tones through the ends. But on the roots, I really kinda of just want it slightly darker than the rest of the hair. So for the whole color, I'm gonna be using Redken Shades EQ, but today I'm gonna to be featuring the M series, which I'm so excited to share with you. I have used these in the past on my hair and I absolutely love, love the color. So for my roots, the formula is going to start with the Shades EQ Gloss, and then I'm gonna be doing one ounce of 7M and one ounce of 7NW. The NW is just going to give it just a tad of warmth. I do have some highlights at the root, so you never wanna go in with something that's too cool or too flat. And then for the rest of my hair, so my mid lengths through the ends, and then for that formula, I'm gonna be starting that off with three ounces of the Shades EQ Processing Solution. Then I'm gonna mix that with one ounce of a 7N, one ounce of 7G, and one ounce of 7M. All right, let's get started. I feel like I should be a little bit more nervous, but this is not like crazy commitment. So yeah, I'm just excited for something new and fresh. All right, so I'm gonna mix up my root formula. All right, so I've got my mixture ready. You can definitely also add this to like an applicator bottle. I love the precision of using a brush. So let's go for it. So the further I travel to the back of the head, the further down I come, which is personal preference, but I think it gives it a much more natural look. All right, so once I've established kind of this teardrop section, now we're just gonna go through and paint in all of our roots. So I have a lot of depth in through here, but I'm still going to be applying this same color throughout because I want that same kind of M shade and tone throughout. Moving on to this side and doing the exact same thing. Also because I'm applying the roots first, the roots will process the longest. So 
so in turn just giving me a little bit more of that depth and darkness that I'm wanting at the roots. only working on the roots for now I have um, this dry hair to kind of hold on to once I get into applying the color all over I'll be applying gloves and so we're ready to move on to the mid lengths and ends all right so for the next step applying gloves and I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my mid length color. So I just looked down and realized every single shade color is in the level seven and that's definitely the darkest I've probably been in say six years, <laughs> seven years. Yet I'm not panicking, I'm excited. All right, so we've got our next formulation ready to go. I'm gonna start in the back once again because I want that to sit just a little bit longer. And I'm gonna be doing the face framing pieces last because I want those to just be a smidge lighter than the rest. All right, so for that back section, I'm going to raise the first half and work on the bottom half first and work my way up. Okay, once that bottom half is well saturated, we'll start grabbing sections from the top and applying there. Alright, now moving on to this side section here. All right, so I'm gonna leave this section for last. Massaging the product in to the areas I've already colored, and then coming on to this section, and then we'll be doing both front sections last. Okay, final section. We are well saturated. I'm just going to continue to massage the product through. I'm gonna let this process for a full 20 minutes and then I'm going to shampoo and condition and I'll be back with the results. All right, and we're back. Still feels like the same hair, but a little more understated, which is what I was going for. I feel like it already feels healthier. So I've actually washed my hair twice now. The reason for that was as soon as I was done filming the tutorial portion, I had to run out of here and I had 15 minutes to get to a consult. So I didn't wash my hair properly the way I like to after I have done this service. So the best way to lock in color and to continue to have a vibrant, beautiful hair color results is to use a good shampoo and conditioner. So Aura shampoo and conditioners is what I use on my hair and have been doing so since very early this year. It's a customizable and personalized shampoo and hair care line, but it is extremely affordable. And I've talked about this in the past, basically you're getting not only a good deal on like the product itself, 
but you're only paying for ingredients that are actually working for your hair because you are personalizing it. So because I color and process my hair, um, my formula is made to repair, smooth, and moisturize. I've been working with their sister company for about seven years now, which means that is how good they are. And one of the best things about them is that they are affordable, high quality salon products which is something that I always strive to have on my channel that are going to deliver those beautiful salon results, but without breaking the bank. They're all smushed because the bottle is almost empty, but you too can try out Aura if you would like. You can use code LBANGS20 for 20% off plus free shipping. And I'll leave all the details in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's different because I'm always teaching you and showing you how to go lighter. So for all my brunette viewers or viewers wanting to be brunette, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet and you're still here, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It helps me make more videos like this. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.